Failing list number three. Number one, skill. S-K-I-L-L, -L, skill. It's a noun. The ability to do something well, skill. You might have a skill of singing, playing an instrument, playing soccer, painting. You might have many skills. Uh, playing baseball, for example. That's your skill, something that you're really good at. It. Number two, crime. C-R-I-M-E, crime. It's a noun. Unlawful activity in general. Is you, if you are a thief, that is a crime. If you committed a, pre, a, a robbery, it's a crime. If a person uh, does steal a car for, from someone, that is a crime as well. And if uh, you commit a crime, you will go to jail. Number three, green or grind. G-R-I-N-D, grind. It's a verb. To rub, pound, or crush something into powder or very small pieces. So we have this example. You know the arena pan, which is a Venezuela uh, most famous product. Okay, so it's made of corn. So they uh, dried up all the corn um, pieces and then they grind it. Okay, after that you might have a flour that is called corn. Number four, tonight. T O N I G H T. Tonight. It's a night verb. On or during this night of the night of this day. So tonight we're going to sleep very, very nice. Or if it's Friday, probably let's pretend today is Friday. Tonight we'll be going to my mom's birthday party. Okay, and that will be today at night. Number five, brick. B R I C K. Brick. It's a noun. An oblong uh, block of clay baked by the sun or in the oven until hard. Brick are used for building and paving. Um, if you remember in our school, outside our classroom, we have a orange wall and it's made of brick. Pretty much the whole school is made of brick. It has brick in it. Brick. Number six, flight. F L I G H T flight. It's a noun. The act or process of flying. A scheduled airplane trip. Um, if you go on a trip, you go to Disney World, you go into Spain, you're going to Portugal, you're going to another country, or even here though, inside Venezuela, probably you go into Merida, you're going to Margarita Island, you might take a flight to that place. So you get into an airplane and you have a flight to the other place, your destiny place. Number seven, leave. L-I-V-E, leave, it's a verb, to be alive, to exist. So this little fish does not live without water, right? Leave. Number eight, chill, C-H-I-L-L, -L, chill, it's a noun. Unpleasant coldness, a feeling of coldness usually with shivering when it's really really cold outside um and let's pretend outside it's snowing and you go there without a sweater or a jacket uh you feel that awful cold that it uh, goes into your bones and then your your skin turns like that as you see in the picture on the left you feel the chill of the cold okay you start shivering like oh because you're very very cold that's called chill. But also the word chill is being used to oh, chill out. Okay, like, oh, relax. Okay. Number nine, delight. D-E-L-I-G-H-T, delight. Great pleasure. Look at that chocolate bar. That is delightful. Okay, so delight is you have a pleasure to feel. Oh, that is delight. Number 10, build. Build, B-U-I-L-D, build, it's a verb, to make or form by putting together materials or parts, construct. Right here, this uh, team is building a house, okay, build. 
ditch. D, uh, number 11, D-I-D-D-H, ditch. Now, a long narrow trench. Look at the pictures on the right, okay? That's kind of the ditch we see here in Venezuela, okay? Well, that's where the water runs through in a highway, on the street. Um, and the, the one on the left, are, uh, it's called a ditch as well, it's where the water runs through when it rains and all that. But it's not, um, it's in, in another country usually. Um, so in, uh, where the clown is, famous clown that I really don't like that is called Eat, where he lives, he lives in a ditch, okay? Underground. Number 12, the side, D-E. C I D E decide. It's a verb to make up one's mind, to make a judgment or settle a question or outcome. Decide. Look at this. those two pictures. Are you able to decide for one, just for one? Could be the chocolate, could be the pizza. Which one would you decide for? Number 13, witness. Witness. W I T N E S S, witness. It's a noun, someone who has been or heard something. In this case, we have, look at the picture. In the back of the picture, we have a girl on the floor uh, talking to a person that looks like a firefighter or probably just a regular person trying to help her. And then in front of the picture, we have this lady speaking with a police officer. So she probably was the witness of what happened to the girl on the floor. She saw what happened to her, so she is considered a witness. Number 14, wind. W-I-N-D, wind. It's a noun. Air that is in motion. Okay. On the, the picture on the left, we have, or we can appreciate that the wind is blowing because the grass or the plants over there are moving or are crooked into a side. And the picture on the right, we have a tornado. And tornado is being formed by strong wind. Number 15, district. D-I-S-T-R-I-C-T, district. It's a noun, a part of a, a city that is set aside for a particular purpose. Um, this is the Florida state, and the Florida state has um, is been divided by districts, okay? That's why you see like a yellow color, orange color, purple color. Those are called districts, okay? That division. Number 16, inch, I-N-C-H, inch. It's a noun, a unit of length equal to one half of a foot. Uh, so it's a metric measurement in the United States. It's as we as we measure things in centimeters or meters, they will say inches. Number seventeen, sigh, s i g h, sigh. It's a verb to let out a strong deep breath ah, because of fatigue, sorrow, or relief. So look at that little duck. It's just ah. It just make a sign, okay? Number 18, fright. F-R-I-G-H-T, fright, is a noun. Southern strong fear, terror. You remember one of the words in our list was afraid? Well, fright is kind of the same thing. So look at poor Pikachu, it's fright. It's probably about that other Pokemon. Number 19, remind, R-E-M-I-N-D, remind, it's a verb, to cause something, to remember or think of something, don't forget, okay, when you don't forget something, it's because you remind that, okay. Number 20, built, B-U-I-L-T, built, it's a verb, the past tense past participle of build. One of the words in the beginning of this list was build, B at the end. So build, this one is ready, okay? They were, they build the house and now the house is built. 